Hello, my name is Lynette Anderson from Lynette Anderson Designs. I'm based in Queensland, Australia. And today I'm going to talk to you about how I do my applique. A lot of my designs incorporate embroidery and quite small applique pieces. And I know for a lot of ladies that can be a bit scary. Um, I don't always do needle turn applique, but it is one of my preferred techniques. So I want to show you what I've discovered that's gonna help you be able to do applique shapes this small as needle turn. So let's get started. There's a gorgeous new product on the market which is a paper product which is fusible on one side. Um, it will go through an inkjet printer. It's an American paper size and it comes approximately 20 sheets I think in a pack. Now this piece has been handled a lot and as you can see as it handles it softens. But if you wanted to it's um, water soluble. It won't, it won't disappear because it has a paper content but it disintegrates. And after a lot of handling, I don't actually think it needs washing. So you're going to take your sheet of paper and you're going to trace, and I prefer to use a pencil, we're going to trace the applique shape that we want. And I'm going to do some of these little birds. So I've cut out the bird on the line. I'm then going to take it to my ironing board and I'm going to fuse that, so the shiny side, to the wrong side of my fabric. So I'm going to fuse it onto my fabric. Now I'm going to cut out and I'm going to use the perfect scissors which are these gorgeous soft handled very sharp because they have a micro serrated edge scissors and I'm going to cut out giving myself not too big and not too small a seam allowance. The bird itself isn't very big so we don't want a huge seam allowance. Can you see how smoothly these scissors are cutting around that shape? It's a lovely easy action and I guess my seam allowance is between an eighth and a quarter of an inch. Once we've done that, as with all applique, you're going to clip the curves that go inwards. And I'm going to use a much smaller pair of the Appliquick scissors. Again, they've got the micro serrated edge. And you're going to snip right to the edge of the paper. I know when I'm teaching my students, they say, how far should I cut? And I say, to the line. But with this little paper, it's really easy to see where you're cutting to. Just a little bit there in his neck. And we're ready to begin. I'm working on a very fine rubber non-slip mat today. They're washable um, and you can also press on them, which is really great. And I'm going to use the Appliquick tools. These have been developed by a Spanish girl. And as you can see, you get two tools, one with the fork and one which has a slightly beveled edge on it, which is a little bit like an iron. Now I'm right-handed, so I'm going to hold the pronged tool in my left hand, it's your holding tool, and I'm going to hold it at an upright angle like that, which is just going to give me a little bit of pressure to hold the piece in place. We also need a glue pen. The water soluble fabric ones, they're available, lots of different brands on the market, they all do much the same thing. I'm going to get rid of, first of all, the bulky little bit of fabric that's on this bird's tail, or if you were making a leaf, it would be at the point of the leaf. There's often that bulky bit of fabric beyond that. So holding your tool gently, and I'm going to do a rolling action with the Appliquick tools. I'm going to roll the fabric edge over, just doing the corners at this point. There, that was easy, wasn't it? I'm going to take a little bit more glue and put it on, and then just fold the rest of his tail over. Can you see how easy that is? You're going to do that rolling action. Go ahead and do a little bit more glue. Now can you see I haven't gone too far ahead because the glue does absorb into the paper and I'm also making sure that the glue is a little bit on the fabric but it's definitely right on the edge of the paper. And again, using that rolling action, you're going to roll the fabric over the edge of the cut paper. Now a question I get asked a lot is, the glue's blue, don't worry, it dries clear. And um, some of the brands it's actually might be pink or it might be green. We're going to do that little curve of his head. Now I'm going to use the end of this tool. So again, holding it steady, we're just going to pleat the fabric gently onto the glued curve of this bird's head. Now the glue doesn't dry instantly, so if you did a little bit that you really didn't like, it's very easy. You just put the tool underneath and lift it back up. Pop a little bit more glue on and carry on making sure that you've tucked everything in just the way you want it. Now, see that little lovely little hair that's sticking out there of thread? Just make sure you've rolled him over as well. And now we've done all the difficult bits, we're just going to go ahead and do a bit more of the bird. So remember you're doing a little rolling action. Now when I first started using these tools, 
um, I found I was concentrating so hard I was pressing really hard with the forked tool that I almost had gone through the paper. Just relax, you don't need to press that hard. It's actually really, really, really easy. And we're finished. Now, you would probably want to give this a press on this side first, the wrong side, and then you need to turn him over and give him a press on the other side. And he's then ready to applique into place onto your background fabric. Now, see how nice he is? He's ready to put into position. Now, this is um, a little sewing machine that I've done using this technique and it's stitched on and already can you see how soft that is you would not know that there's a product in here bearing in mind I also have already already put my stabilizer on the back of here for the stitchery so not only do I have that paper product in behind the sewing machine but the stabilizer is also on the back of the fabric and it really there's no papery feel to that at all so I can assure you you probably don't need to even rinse it away so just recapping you need a black rubber mat, your applique tools, the Appliquick scissors are divine, a glue pen and your perfect scissors and your applique paper and you're ready to get going. Thank you for joining me today, <laughs> that was fun.